Welcome to the Inner Voice. This is Pastor Tech of the Friends of Jesus Christ Canada. Again, friends, we're here to study the scripture, and uh, we are told that the Word of God is eternal. It stands firm forever. So from the beginning um, up to this day, it's the same word that uh, we're studying. And so, again, our topic today is uh, teamwork. So even from the beginning, our design is that we shall work together. Uh, in the book of Genesis, when God created the man, he said that it's not good for a man to be alone. So he created woman, so the woman will be a helpmate. So together they can, they can work the land and they can multiply. So that, that was the design of God. And so today we shall study this topic on teamwork. And uh, friends, no man is an island. That's what we have been hearing. And so we need each other. Uh, teamwork is the process of uh, working together, uh, cooperating, collaborating, uh, to do some works for the purpose of uh, achieving a goal that had been set. And so today, we shall uh, concentrate on that, what the Bible is saying about teamwork. And uh, I pray that uh, all of us will be able to learn something. Alam mo sa atin sa Pilipinas, meron tayong kasabihan na bayanihan. Parang ganon, nagtutulong-tulungan, nagsama-sama uh, para ma-accomplish ma ang isang layunin. So ganon po ang ating pag-uusapan sa oras na ito, sa araw na ito. Uh, ating pong pag-aaralan kung paano tayo makapagkaisa-isa. Uh, meron tayong tinatawag din na crab, crab mentality. Yung isa ayaw makitim. So imbes na tutulong, hahatakin yung kapwa. So paano ba tayo lalago? Paano ba tayo aangat bilang uh, mga Pilipino, uh, bilang isang tao? So kailangan natin ang isa't isa, kaya itong pag-aaralan natin sa araw na ito. And so I pray that all of us, we will have the opportunity to look to ourselves, look inside, and see how we are working with others. Are we really uh, cooperating? Are we really, really a, a good team player? You know, for a team to succeed, there has to be a teamwork. No, no team here, whether it's sports or whether at work, unless you work together, you won't succeed. Because uh, we need uh, the help of one another. We cannot discount the help that somebody could give to us. We need every bit of help. And so that is what the Bible is emphasizing. And so today, as uh, we study the scripture, we know, friends, that uh, we shall be enlightened on our role in uh, the success of our own personal lives and, and in the success of our team. And so, again, uh, let's uh, uh, take a break. Uh, just a short break and uh, we shall come back meantime friends uh, stay tuned don't go and uh, we'll come back welcome back to the inner voice uh, as uh, we mentioned earlier uh, let's now go into the study of the scripture and uh, learn some uh, lessons out of uh, uh, what had been written. And uh, we said earlier that even from the beginning, the design of God for us is to, uh, to work together. And so let's uh, open our Bibles. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 20. So let's uh, see what the, the Bible is saying here. And this is uh, the Apostle Paul uh, uh, writing to the church uh, in Corinth. Verse 20 of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. As it is, there are many parts but one body. The eyes cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seems to be weaker are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. While our presentable parts need no special treatment, but God has combined the members of the body and has given greater honor to the parts that lack it. So that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. In one part, uh, if one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. So this is a very good illustration of uh, how we can work together, the body itself. So we need every part of the body. 
See, one part of the body can say, I don't need you. Uh, see, if one, if one is sick, one part of the body is sick, the whole body will be sick. That's how important that, uh, the body is. So we need every part of the body, whether big part or small part, we need each other. Just imagine this, yung, yung, yung ating kamay, limang daliri dito. Ano, ang bawat isa kailangan nila para maganda ang grip natin, hindi ba? So hindi natin sabihin, walang kwenta ito, walang, kasi pinakamalit, hindi ba? <laughs> Napakarami palang uh, gamit nito, hindi ba? Kaya pala ito, itinulak din sa banda ito para maganda ang grip. But each one needs its other. Ganon din yung katawan natin, sinasabi dito. Ganon din ang katawan ni Kristo because teamwork is vital part in the body of Christ. So in the body of Christ, we need to work together. You know, we cannot say that I don't need you. So, so uh, we are talking now about the body of Christ. So there are prophets, there are apostles, there are pastors, there are teachers. You know, there are many workers in the kingdom of God. And there are members just like us, ordinary members in the body of Christ. I cannot say that I don't need you. No, I need you. We need each other. It's just like the body, that when the body is sick, one part of the body is sick, the whole body will be sick. The pain will be experienced by everybody. But when one part rejoices, we are told, then we will all rejoice. Now, uh, earlier, the Apostle Paul was also saying that, you know, can it be, is it possible that we will all be the head? Pwede ba tayo lahat ay ulo? Eh, ano, pang, ano pang klaseng katawan tayo kung ganoon? Kaya madalas mga kapatid, nagtatalo-talo tayo kasi kung sinong maghehead, sinong mangunguna dun sa team. So dun tayo nagtalo-talo. Ano, gusto natin lahat maging head eh. Ano, sabi nga nila sa sampung members, kung minsan uh, lahat ng sampu gusto maging presidente. So sino ngayon ang maging member? <laughs> Hindi ba? That's why Christ is the head. And we are the members of the church. He is the head of the church. And so, tulong-tulong tayo, sama-sama tayo, ano, bawat isang membro may, may halaga. Ano, huwag natin sabihin na, hindi, may liit lang naman akong membro. Eh. Hindi na ako kailangan dyan. Hindi, kailangan ka. No. Tingnan natin yung ating tag of war. Kahit na pinakamalit na bata yan, kailangan may makat- makakatulong yun sa paghata. Hindi ba? Eh pero gaano man kadati kalalaki, kahit malalaki tayo lahat, eh kung hindi naman tayo naghahatak, ano kasi ayaw natin na manalo kasi may galit tayo din kapwa natin, walang mangyayari. And so sabi natin, magsama-sama tayo. Uh, teamwork needs to fulfill the Great Commission. As the body of Christ, we need teamwork to fulfill the Great Commission. Alam niyo yung Great Commission, napaka-great sa totoo lang. That's why it's called Great. Why? Why is it so great? Kasi nakalagay dito, ano, sa Matthew 28, ano, from verse 18. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. It's great because it's a huge task. Magagawa ba ng isang tao dito to go into all the world to preach the gospel? And baptizing everyone, teaching everyone uh, the, the message of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi yan, uh, teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. Magkakaya ba ng isa? That's why we need each other. Hindi ba? Kailangan natin ng isa't isa. Walang tao na makakaya lahat ang gawain nito. Uh, in fact, uh, we are given a good illustration <clears throat> sa uh, 1 Corinthians 3, 5-9. Sa 1 Corinthians 3, 5-9, pinapakita sa atin dito, ano, paano tayo uh, magtulungan? Kasi in the end, it's not us that matters but God. <clears throat> Sabi dito, 8-9. <clears throat> The man who plants and the man who waters have one purpose, and each will be rewarded according to his own labor. For we are God's fellow, uh, fellow workers, you are God's field, God's building. But earlier, he, sa- he said dito, na, uh, this is now comparing Apollos and uh, Paul. Uh, sabi dito, what after all is Apollos? 
ano magagawa ni Apolos? Ano kahit na sabi dito may taga-tanim, may taga, uh, taga-dilig. Anong magagawa ni Apolos, di ba? Said and what is Paul? Only servants through whom you came to believe as the Lord has assigned. It's his task. So may kanya-kanyang gawain lang 'yan. Sabi dito, I I I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God made it grow. So, so neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything but only God who makes things grow. Amen. And so, yun ang sinasabi dito na oh, hindi mahalaga kung sino ang mahalaga dito is gawin natin. No, meron kanya-kanyang tungkulin. So, huwag tayong mag-inggitan, huwag tayong magturuan. Uh, sabi natin, gawain natin lahat para pareho to. Amen. And then, Uh, teamwork is the product of genuine love. Ito pagmamahal. Isang product ng pagmamahal yan. Uh, that's why uh, we are told in Philippians 2, uh, 1 to 4. Again, uh, let's... Uh, this is, the, this is uh, the humility of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then, in this, we could see that... Sabi dito, Philippians 2, verse 1 to 4, If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ... If any comfort from His love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourself. And so, kailangan magpakumbaba. Ano? In humility consider others better than ourselves. Kung ganun, mababang loob tayo, ang sinasabi dito, maganda ang maging samahan natin, then we can work together as a team. We can accomplish much. Kasi we consider them better, meaning, okay, I will give my best too. Okay, ang sinasabi nga dito is, ano, do nothing out of selfish ambition. Okay, so ang mahalaga yan, mga kapatid, uh, we have to uh, develop a love for one another. And because of this love that we will have for one another, then we can have a good team. See, we will consider others as our brothers and our sisters, and we don't compete with them. We work together as a team. We encourage one another, we pray for one another, and at the end, friends, the victory is ours. Pag nanalo tayo, tayo lahat nanalo. Pag natalo, kahit na sabi mo dito, uh, yung iba ginawa nilang dapat nilang gawin, hindi mo ginawang dapat mong gawin, at natalo, then you are also a loser. And so if we want to be winner, then we should all work together in a team and we will win. Hindi tayo matatalo. Ano, magkasama tayo. And so friends, this is the first part of our lesson today. And uh, we shall uh, continue on and see how we can practically apply this in our lives. We need to work together as a team. You know, the challenge ahead of us is great. It is not easy. No man can overcome the challenges by himself. We need each other and it will be a lot lighter. It will be a lot easier to overcome it. And so again, let's take a break and we will come back after a few minutes. Welcome back to the Engineer Boys. Now we are in the application portion of our program. And uh, we have discussed some uh, uh, verses earlier and uh, we emphasize how we work together in the same way that the body works together. See, if we want the body to be healthy, every part of the body should be working its part. If one fails, then the whole body will be affected. We can only as strong as the weakest link. That we can only be as strong as the weakest part of the body. Because, friends, if that part of the body breaks, the whole thing will, will suffer. And so, what is the key to success? What is the key to success? Well, we, again, we said that it's a teamwork. Now, what does the Bible say about that? You know, uh, many times uh, we've been hearing this, uh, but uh, I think we have to emphasize it. You know, again, using the Bible. What is the key to teamwork? How can we, re- uh, how can we really work together? Uh, uh, or what is the key to our success? Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 to 12. This is the key to success. <clears throat> Two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. 
if one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. See, that is the key to success. Amen. Working as a team. The, the, more, the more the better, the more the merrier, and the more uh, the, uh, the uh, success is assured. Mas marami tayo, mas maganda. Kung konti tayo, wala tayong magagawa. Hindi ba? Kaya sinasabi natin dito, supposing meron tayong problema, ay eh, kailangan ko ng 1,000 ngayon. Paano natin maiipon ang 1,000? Malilikom ang 1,000 ngayon. Kung ako, mahirap yun. Ano? Pero kung marami tayo, kung meron tayong 1,000 na tao, pipiso lang tayo. Ano? Malilikom na yung 1,000. Ganun kadali yan. Kung marami tayo magbubuat ng isang bagay, then mas madali, mas magaan. Eh, pero kung ako lang o dalawa lang ang, ang, ang bumubuhat yan, mabigat yan. Hindi ba? Yan ang sinasabi dito. Kung if we want success, then mas marami tayo, nagkakaisa tayo, then mas marami tayong ma-accomplish. Ngayon, ang sabi dito, two are better than one because they have good return. Eh, Siyempre, mas marami tayong pupunta doon sa bukid. Mas maraming ani natin. Di ba? Nag-iisa ka. Ano na lang yung mabubuhat mo? Nag-iisa ka. Baka hirap na hirap ka pa. <laughs> di ba? So, sinasabi niyan. So, if one falls down, his friend can help him up. Eh, kung na, nadapa yung isa, eh, kung may kasama ka, may mag-aangat sa'yo. Eh, kung nag-iisa ka, <laughs> gapang ka. Eh, di ba? Wala kang magagawa kasi nag-iisa ka eh. Kaya sabi dito, uh, but, kaya sabi dito, but pity the man who falls and has no one to help him. Also, if two lie together, then they keep you warm. Kung giniginaw ka, di ba, pag may katabi ka, umiinit ka? Ganon din yan. And then, ang sabi dito, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. Pag nag-iisa ka, hindi mo kayang, ano ka, hindi mo kayang ipagtanggol lang sarili mo. Kung dalawa kayo, matapang ka. Bigyan kita example. Hindi, huwag niyo sabihin na malalaki lang ang kailangan natin para tayo, para tayo lumakas ng loob. Yung iba matatakon sa multo. Hindi <laughs> ba? May na, oh, paano ka paano mo overcome yung takot mo sa multo? Yung iba nagdadala ng isang musmus na bata. Para may anong magagawa ng bata? Anong may tutulong ng bata? Pero yun ang sinasabi natin ng power of two. <laughs> Amen. The power of two. It doesn't matter kung malaki o malait, basta dalawa kayo. Kaya ang Panginoon nang sinugo niya yung mga disciples, sabi niya dito, humayo kayo two by two. Di ba sabi natin kanina, the Great Commission is so great, how can one uh, accomplish it? Kaya sabi niya, o oh, sige, lumakad na kayo two by two. Para pag nahiyang lumapit yung isa, at least may isa, hindi, kaya mo yan. Tagatulak yung isa. Di ba, ganun ang teamwork. Hindi yung dalawa nga kayo, ha, tagahatak naman. Uh, so, kailangan magkasama. Amen tayo. And so, sabi dito, a cord of three strand is not easily broken. Hindi madaling maputol kung mas maraming strand yung, yung, ano, yung ating tali. And so that is how we do it. Amen? So teamwork is really the key to success. If we want to uh, succeed, we have to have a good team. And we can work together. Now, what make a team works? Ano, how can we make our team work? How can ma- we make our team work? And so Romans 12.10. <clears throat> Magkakaroon tayo ng idea sa Romans 12, paano natin mapapatakbo ang ating team? Romans 12.10 Sabi dito, Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. So again, be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Commitment. Amen? We have to be committed. Pag nasa team tayo, let us be a committed member of the team. No, let's not work for our own uh, selfish ambition. No, if we have to sac- make sacrifices, let's make some sacrifices. Hindi pwede na tayo lagi ang pakabig. Ano? We have to make some sacrifices. And then, of course, uh, we have to really uh, set aside our, our own agenda. No, let's work to, for, the, for the good of the team. And so, sabi dito, We have to be devoted to one another. Honor one another above yourselves. Again, humility. No. 
Alam nyo, napakahirap mag, uh, makipag-team kung wala tayong humility. Kung para, para tayong ma-pride, ano, mataas ang ano natin, uh, wala. Walang mangyayari. So, we have to submit to one another. That's why the Bible has been saying that, you know, as believers, we have to pray for one another, submit to one another, care each other's burden, love one another, forgive one another. Ito, one another lahat to, puro team yan. No. And these are very critical for us really to succeed. So friends, I believe that uh, we have learned some lessons today. And I pray that uh, 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 as you have uh, uh, heard the messages, uh, the lessons that we have discussed, and as you have uh, also read those scriptures, then I pray that uh, you too will do your part. Let's work together uh, for uh, uh, the advancement of the kingdom of God. See, one man cannot do it alone. We need each other. Now, even in your own job, you need one another. Uh, bless your boss. Bless your co-workers. In your family, you need one another. Bless your mother, your father. Bless your, your brothers, sisters. You know, in, among friends, we need one another. So we need to work together as a team because in the end, what we want is to have a good life, a successful life. So we can never be, be successful unless we have good friends around that uh, are with us. We can work together. And we can uh, pray together, love one another. And so, friends, I pray that uh, all of us, uh, let's desire to have it. Now, the key is having the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives. Do you have Jesus in your life? He is the author of life. And he is the one that will give us this renewed spirit that we can walk really in love and in faithfulness. We need to have a close relationship with him. And so, again, friends, uh, thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, if you need uh, more uh, uh, lessons on this, uh, well, just give me a call. You know my uh, number, my contact number, or go maybe to our website. Our website, website is www.friendsofjesuschrist.com. And uh, you can uh, get more uh, lessons from there. And uh, if not, come and join us here and uh, just be with us. Let's have Bible study together or go to your church pastor and uh, ask for a Bible study on this topic. Okay, so again, thank you for joining us. Uh, God bless, and may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's uh, face shine upon you. May He be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you peace. <music>